All right, this is going to be a GoPro Hero 3 Black Wi-Fi distance test um, between the camera and the GoPro app. And I have an Android phone here, a Galaxy S3, and I also have an iPhone 5. And so what we're going to do is we're going to run some signal tests, we're going to position the GoPro here, and we're going to walk down the street, keeping line of sight to the camera until we go as far as we can uh, and then we'll be non-line of sight through some trees in between some houses and see if we can get that far. Both phones are fully charged. Uh, both phones are without cases, so they won't have any obstruction between the phone itself and the camera. Uh, the camera is charged. The camera's Wi-Fi is on. You can see the blue light. The camera is not powered on, so we'll try and use the phone app to power on the camera. So let's get started. Now I'd say this is easily 50 yards now to that phone, uh, or excuse me, to that camera. So we'll try again here. We're going to uh, launch the GoPro app on the Galaxy S3, see if we can get connected, then we'll check signal strength, connect and control, starting preview. A lot longer to get the preview on this one now. noticeably longer. Let's pause this real quick. Let's check the signal strength from here. Dropping down to about minus 70, ooh, even lower, minus 75, minus 78. That's pretty low uh, for usability. I don't know if we're going to get any connections here with that. Uh, almost minus 80. Now, we'll try it though. Let's go back to the app. No preview. Let's turn preview off. Let's see if we can fire up the camera anyway. We'll listen for the tone. I did hear the tone, so the camera is recording. So no preview at 50 yards, but it does the power, the record button does work. Let's listen for the tones on the way on when we disconnect. I can hear them from here. So 50 yards away, still able to control, although preview uh, noticeably slower or non non-functional actually. So iPhone 5, 50 yards, we'll try the app. Connected to the camera, connected control, uh, see if we can pull a preview up. My guess is we're not going to be able to. Turn preview off, we'll see if we can record. I heard the tone for the recording, now we'll stop. And I heard the tone for the ending. So both iPhone and Galaxy S3 work from about 50 yards. Right, that fire hydrant is way off in the distance there, maybe a hundred yards away now. Um, we have a connection, and actually a, a solid connection on Iggy Pop for the iPhone, and the um, S3 is reading signal level. It's gray now at still about minus 80 or so. Let's see if it adjusts. Yeah, it's going to come down here again, 85, which is pushing the absolute limit of usable Wi-Fi. We'll go ahead and uh, turn the S3 off and then try the iPhone again for the connection back using the GoPro app. So we'll fire up the app. Connect and control. I'm going to guess we're not going to get it. Oh, we have a preview from here, so there might have been interference actually uh, where the other location was. We'll start recording. Recording says it started. We actually have a preview. I don't think you can even see me down there way at the end of the screen, street. We'll stop recording. And I actually heard the ending beeps, so we were able to do that at about 100 yards away, line of sight. Let's try the S3 now. Okay, S3 connected to the network Iggy Pop. We'll fire up the GoPro app. See if we can get a preview on the S3 from here as well. There we go, we have a preview from here as well, so there must have been some interference uh, from the other location. We'll see if we can start the camera. Camera says it started. No preview, uh, there we go, we do have a preview now here from 100 yards away, line of sight. We'll stop it. 
I hear the beep, so it did definitely stop recording. So S3 and iPhone, both usable at 100 yards line of sight. The fire hydrant is around the bend. We've got our app with our signal here. The iPhone says it's connected um, to Iggy Pop G and our signal strength on the Android. Let's rotate it so we get a little bit more signal here. Down to almost minus 90, actually running right at minus 90. So we'll see if we can, oh, the iPhone just dropped its connection. We'll see if we can go back uh, on the iPhone and see if we can connect again. Unable to join, so I think we might be at the limit here at about 100 yards non-line of sight. Um, let's see if the Android can get connected. It says it's connected. We'll see if we can fire up the app. Connecting control. Man, this is pushing the limit here. Starting preview. Don't think it's going to give us a preview here. We'll turn preview off. We'll see if we can at least record, control the camera. I have recording confirmation. There's no way to tell if it's actually doing this. I can try and listen, but it's far away and there's birds chirping around too. Let's see if we can hear it turn off. It's so far away I can't tell. I can't hear it. We'll have to check the timestamps and see if it recorded. Looks like I had 100 yards non-line of sight. It started to record, but it actually didn't stop recording because the red light's still on and I just walked up to the camera. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this test. We'll have to try and push it to the limit next time uh, to see if we can actually get further than 100 yards away line of sight and see how far this camera can really go. Uh, again, Android and iPhone both did pretty well. And uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.